Hey there, how's it going? Dr. Dave here in Sarani. Sarani, remember, Sarani is the name of my RV uh, motorhome, and it means further in Japanese. And um, the reason we have named our RV van Sarani is because it's going to take our life totally further in a direction we've never taken it before. And it just kind of, it's all, look, all the lights are on. It's, 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 it's just a, um, an experience that I want to have that I've never done anything like this before. Pretty much packing, packing stuff up in this van and just going out on the road and experiencing life. I think the way life is supposed to be experienced, not necessarily in a, um, an office 40 hours a week or that's I, I don't want to be doing that <coughs> actually <coughs> I'm sorry I'm just getting over being sick too so I'm so sorry about the coughing um this is um uh, I mean I I've always since I've been probably in my 30s or 40s I've always gone against the grain I don't conform to what other people think is like the norm I don't live a normal life at all. I live the life that I want to live. And because of that, I figured out a lot of stuff, which I've been sharing over many years. And now, from the van, I'm going to be sharing some things that you just won't believe um, as life continues in Sarani. As I said, sometimes I'll be alone. Sometimes I'll be with my wife, Yoko. We'll sometimes be doing this together. But... Um, Depending on the situation, depending on the plans, um, I'm going to be doing a lot of um, searching and sharing with you. One thing is I'm turning into more of a handyman, um, and I'm not really, even though I'm a dentist by profession, I don't see patients anymore, but um, I, I, I'm supposed to be really good with my hands. But as far as I get, like, a, uh, the macro level, like a handyman, like really doing stuff around the house and now in this van, I'm not really all that great at it. Um, I'm learning. I'm getting better. Yoko is like a, is extremely handy. She can um, just do things on a professional level that just look really super. I'm not quite there yet, but I want to share something with you. Um, I'm just here screwing some screwing some shit in, just practicing using a screwdriver. <laughs> but I want to share what I bought. Um, see, I've got a, a decent sound system in the van. If I can even, maybe I can show you, no, well, I'm not going to turn it around right now. Um, but, um, I bought this speaker system. So when we're, let's say when we're camped, when we can't really use the sound system that's in the front of the van while we're driving, because that'll take too much of the battery. Um, there's a coach battery here that, that supplies all this other stuff. Like the lights that are on right now are being run by the coach battery and we have a generator and you can plug in. But what I bought was this little, um, speaker. It's by, Fugu, F-U-F-U, F-U-G-O-O, F-U-G-O-O, Fugu, and um, it's a, it connects my um, iPhone to blue, through Bluetooth to the speaker, and so um, when we're just hanging around in a campground or boondocking somewhere, by the way, you know what boondocking means? Those of you that are not um, RVers or motorhome people, boondocking means you're staying in the van um, but you're not in an official campground. You're not, you don't have hookups. You're not hooked up to, um, water. You're not hooked up to electricity. You're using pretty much either a generator. Um, but you're pretty much like uh, dry camping kind of like there's nothing else around, no resources around you. <coughs> That's called boondocking. So I bought this speaker. So we hook our iPhone. I can hook my iPhone up to it and the sound is really good. Now I'm not going to be able to play it for you now because I'm actually recording what I'm doing now, video through my iPhone, so I can't really hook video. But just listen to the sound when I power it up. It's it's so cool sounding when you even when you power it up. Let's, let's see, maybe it didn't. Hold on, let's try this again. Powering off. Now, something weird happened when I powered it on. I, I didn't realize um, the Bluetooth from the speaker, I'm not sure what happened to the video at that point, but the Bluetooth from the speaker um, connected to my iPhone, and that's why I had to do another take. So, um, But it's very, very cool. 
it's really cool. So I'm excited to be able to um, use this with some music as we're traveling around. Let me put, uh, we got a pair of Japanese slippers in here. I'm, um, I'm taking it in for some service in a little while, so I don't want to keep these here. I want to make sure they're tucked away here. There are a lot of cool little storage, little nooks and pouches and crannies and all kind of places where you just keep stuff. You know, there's, we, have, we all have a lot of stuff. And actually what I'm trying to do these days, I'm trying to get rid of stuff. I have too much, I admit it, I have too much stuff in my life. And really, um, just as of two days ago, I sold one of my cars because when I bought this, my goal was I don't want to have a lot of vehicles hanging around my drive. It's just too, too much stuff in my life. So um, I sold um, one of my cars, got some cash for that. That really, oh, every little bit helps out. And you, when you get stuff out of your life that you just don't need, you're not going to use anymore, that clutters your life, you feel um, free. It just frees you up. Because every time you have something, even something like this, Every time you have something, there's going to be chargers, cables, things that go wrong with it, uh, manuals, all kinds of something you have to learn. And everything you have is like that. Um, there, you know, everything, something can just happen to it, go wrong, could break. And when you have so many of these like things in your life, it's, it becomes, it just clutters your entire life, physically, surrounding, physically and mentally, when you have so much stuff clutters you mentally it, it fills up your brain um, and also when you have too many crazy thoughts your brain can be cluttered so let's free ourselves up that's why I like to meditate I like to just sit and sometimes just and sometimes people say it's just oh it's a waste of time just sitting around doing nothing but sometimes just closing my eyes and breathing in and breathing out and trying to just follow my breath and clearing my mind it's it's like worth a million dollars I mean I've got some people that I know some friends and some business associates that it seems like it seems like the biggest things in their lives are money like, let's make more money let's work harder and make more money and work harder and what happens is Many, not all, many but get uh, um, less healthy. They pay less attention to their body. Um, they get heavier. And they miss out a lot of opportunities in their lives because all they're doing is focusing on one thing. One thing. Make more money. Have more money in my retirement account. Make money. Make money. Spend money. And by the time they get older, they're going to look back and say, Wow, I really... I really fucked this thing up. I, I, there's so many opportunities I had to see beautiful things on this planet and I just didn't do it. I was at the office. I was working too hard. Hey, I'm, I don't do that. I'm not lazy. I just, this is my life. And I want to be experiencing life. I don't want to be fucking around some office every day. I just don't want to be doing that. So I figured out a way to live a life that I think is better than that. I think. I'm sure. I'll be talking about it a lot more. I will. Um, in the meantime, i got to get going because i got to actually take Sirene over to the... I, I made an appointment when I first got him or her. Sirene or her? It's a her. It's a her. <laughs> when I first got Sirene, I made an appointment for a, with a local... Um, place that does service on coaches and motorhomes and things like that. And I want to um, just have some things checked out that might be a little bit uh, beyond my capabilities. So I've got an appointment actually today. I'm still under the weather. I'm going to try to drive her over there and, and my brother is bringing me back and then um, I'll just be relaxing the rest of the day. Um, so Bye, Sarani. I'm taking you in. It's like it's like taking a patient to the. It's like taking somebody to the doctor, isn't it? I just feel like Sarani is like alive and almost human. Okay, enough of my weirdness, right? I'll talk to you soon, Doctor Dave. I'll talk to you when I'm back in Sarani again. That didn't sound right.
when I'm back in Sirenia. Well, let it, we'll let it go. See you later. Bye.